Hey, folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Today's date is March 8th, 2017. That is a Wednesday. All right, take a look at the S&P 500 chart here. This is the SPY tracking ETF for the S&P 500. You can clearly see we just filled a major level with a little bit of a late day sell here. And this is a major level because this was the day before or the day of Trump's speech to Congress, which was last Tuesday night. So just over a week ago now, Trump made a speech and he did a very good job of being calm, collected, and getting his point across. All right, the market loved it and surged to the upside. However, it really wasn't a change in character, right? Trump has gone back to his tweeting, uh, basically just being himself. I mean, bottom line, that's who he is. He's not going to change. But somehow the markets did think that he was going to change, and that's why we had this big rally. As you can see, the markets have slowly come in on the realization that it's back to normal, back to pre-speech uh, Trump. And the markets now have negated that entire move from last Wednesday. And again, that was a big day up, but the markets have given it all back. Now, the big question in my mind, and this is something that I'm going to be watching for, like a hawk, do we find support here and rally, or do we break below? And I believe this, and I will say this firmly, with confidence, I believe that if we break below here and we start trading in this range down here tomorrow, this market will have a bigger correction. However, if they can hold this level and they don't get us below this line, I think we go back to the highs. All right. So again, I'm looking at this as a major pivot point because essentially what's happened in the last five to six trading days, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six trading days is we had a market that believed Trump was going to be more, you know, crossing the aisle, more uh, of a diplomat, if you will. And then that's been negated. So we're back to square one. But can we hold square one? And that to me is everything, folks. If we start breaking down here, you short the heck out of this market. And you go heavy short. Because we could have a monstrous pullback if it breaks. I mean, look at just recently what the markets have done since February. I'm up huge. Up huge. All right. But again, if they don't, if they keep the market above here, you got to go with the chart, which is it's on support. It's holding support. You favor the upside. All right, so again, focus on this, guys. Come join us at InTheMoneyStocks.com as we continue to buy in short stocks every single day, basically, here, guys. There's always a trade out there. Intraday stock chats rocking it as day traders as well. Again, if you're an investor, you want to be in the uh, the research center. There's a seven-day free trial. Get the live entries I take. Go to InTheMoneyStocks.com. Go to the research center. Take the seven-day free trial. Take care.